In the early 20th century, alcoholism was a widespread problem in the United States, although there was only a limited understanding of its causes or treatments. Most of the time, individuals suffering from alcoholism faced significant social stigma and lacked effective support systems. Existing methods for treating alcoholism, such as hospitalization, also known as drunk tanks, and moral persuasion were largely ineffective. Dr. Silkworth, the great medical benefactor and of AA, described that the alcoholic has an allergy to alcohol, so that when an alcoholic takes a drink, he is absolutely unable to stop drinking heavily. However, why would the alcoholic take the drink in the first place? This is the part of the disease which is mental in nature. No amount of fear, self-knowledge or willpower could prevent the alcoholic from picking up his first drink. He has no defense against the first drink. It is, after all, why it is called a mental illness and insurance companies pay for treatment. Enter Bill Wilson, Bill W., a stockbroker from New York City who struggled with alcoholism for years. His journey to sobriety became a pivotal part of AA's founding story. Founded by Frank Bookman in the 1920s, the Oxford Group was a Christian fellowship that emphasized personal transformation through spiritual practices, honesty, and community support. The group sought to apply Christian principles to daily life and was focused on the power of God to change individuals. The key Oxford Group's principles included self-examination, confession, making amends, and helping others. These principles would later be adapted into AA's 12 steps. Enter Ebby Thatcher. In 1934, Bill W. was visited by Ebby, who was now a member of the Oxford Group. Bill W. recalls how he looked forward to an evening of drinking and was amazed that his old drinking mate was now sober. He wrote, the door opened and he stood there, fresh-skinned and glowing. There was something different about his eyes. He was inexplicably different. What had happened? Ebby said that he had a spiritual experience. This was how Bill learned about the Oxford Group and the principles of surrender, purification and service. In 1934, Bill W. had a profound spiritual experience while hospitalized for alcoholism. He felt a sense of divine intervention and became convinced that only a spiritual awakening could free him from his addiction. After his experience, Wilson became involved with the Oxford Group. He adopted its spiritual principles and practices, which he credited with helping him maintain sobriety. Enter Dr. Bob Smith, a physician from Akron, Ohio, was also battling alcoholism. Bill met Bob through a mutual association with the Oxford Group. Bill shared his story and the spiritual principles that had helped him, leading to a transformative meeting. Dr. Bob was inspired by Bill's story and began practicing the same principles. His successful recovery marked the beginning of a partnership that would eventually lead to the creation of Alcoholics Anonymous. In 1939, the group published its foundational text, Alcoholics Anonymous, the story of how more than 100 men have recovered from alcoholism, also known as the Big Book. The book outlined the 12 steps, a program of recovery based on the principles adapted from the Oxford group. The 12 steps of AA provided a spiritual framework for recovery emphasizing the necessity of a spiritual awakening to bring about personal transformation. This idea became central to AA's approach, as members were encouraged to seek a spiritual solution to their addiction. These principles adapted and incorporated the principles of the Oxford Group, which were admitting powerlessness, surrendering to a power greater than oneself, turning one's life and will over to God, making reparations, and deepening your relationship with God, finally doing service by taking the message of recovery to other suffering alcoholics.